Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into an exciting and practical automation scenario using Azure Logic Caps. If you're new to Logic Caps, here's a quick overview. Azure Logic Caps is a cloud-based workflow automation tool by Microsoft that lets you connect different apps and services like SharePoint, Teams, and Outlook without having to write any code. You use triggers and actions to build visual workflows. For example, when a file is uploaded in SharePoint, that's your trigger. Then send a message in Microsoft Teams, that's your action. It is a part of Microsoft's serverless ecosystem, which means it runs automatically in the cloud and you only pay for what you use. In this demo, I will show you how to send an automatic Teams notification whenever a document is uploaded to a SharePoint site, specifically to the default documents library. This is perfect for teams managing shared files, document approvals, or simply wanting better visibility when content is added to a SharePoint site. All right, let's jump into the demo. To follow along, make sure you have the below. You will need an Azure subscription. You can sign up for a free Azure subscription by clicking on the link in the YouTube description box. A SharePoint online site with a documents library and access to a Microsoft Teams channel. Let's create the Logic App first. If you cannot see Logic Apps in your home page, go to the search bar and type the word Logic Apps. You will see Logic Apps under Services. Click on it and click Add to add a new Logic App. Under Hosting Plans, select Consumption Multi-Tenant. This is the easiest way to get started. Click Select. If you do have multiple subscriptions, make sure to select the correct subscription. If you have an existing resource group, you're welcome to use that. In this instance, I'm going to use a new resource group. I'm going to call mine test RG1. When you're deploying this in production, make sure all the names that you give follow a naming convention so it is easier for you to understand why this resource was created and what is the purpose of it. For the Logic App name, let's give it a meaningful name. I'm going to call it SharePoint file upload notification and for the region make sure to select a region that is closer to where you live. I'm not going to enable log analytics for this tutorial so I'm going to leave it as no. Let's go ahead and click review and create and click create again. Our logic app has been deployed now. Let's go to the resource. Under development tools click on logic app designer. This is where we will design our Logic App. First of all, we will add a trigger and then we will add an action. Click on Add a Trigger button. In the search bar, type the word SharePoint and hit Enter. These are the available triggers for SharePoint Online. These are inbuilt and managed by Microsoft. So the one that we're going to use today is this one here. If you hover over the little eye icon, it'll tell you what this trigger does. So let me click on this trigger. And in the parameters, you need to select your SharePoint site and the library. So for this example, I've created a SharePoint site called IT Support Team. And the library name is the default documents library. I'm going to select that from here. And let me collapse that window. Click on the plus icon and then click add an action. Under built-in tools, select HTTP and select HTTP webhook. Subscriber method is going to be post. Leave subscriber URI blank for now. I will show you how to get the subscriber URI from Microsoft Teams very soon. So don't worry about it for now. And then in the body, we're going to copy this text. This is what you're going to see on your Teams channel when Azure Logic App posts saying that a file has been uploaded to your SharePoint site. I will put this in the YouTube description for you as well so you can copy it from there if you wish to do so. Let's go to Microsoft Teams and I'll show you how to get the subscribe URI now. I have logged into Microsoft Teams on my test computer. I am a member of the IT support team team. Now if I expand this team, you will see the respective channels under this team. 
For this tutorial, we will use the Evening Team Teams channel. So if you select on your specific Teams channel and click on these three dots to your right hand side, you will get a bunch of options in here. Click on Manage Channel. Under Connectors, click Edit. In here, you will need to configure an incoming webhook. So click on Configure. We will need to give this webhook a name. So let's call it SharePoint Upload Notifier and click Create. Now this is the URI that we need to copy. I have copied the URI now. Let's go back to our Azure Logic app and paste it under Subscriber URI. As you can see, I have now copied the subscribe URI, which we copied from Microsoft Teams channel. One thing that I want to point out was that if you click back on the trigger, in this setting, it will let you select how often you want the Logic app to check for items. Now that we have configured our Logic app, let's go ahead and click Save. And next, I'm going to show you how this works in action. So let me just switch to my test computer once again. Okay, I'm back on my test computer. I have now logged into the SharePoint site. I'm going to go to the Documents Library and select the Evening Team. This is a folder. And then I'm going to upload a new document. Click the Upload button click files and I'm going to select this test document in my desktop folder. If you like, you can drag and drop files to SharePoint Online as well that are saved locally on your computer. Okay, so the file has been uploaded successfully. Let me open my Teams channel and let me go to the Evening Team Teams channel. Now we should see a notification from our Azure Logic app in here informing us that a new document has been uploaded to the specific SharePoint online documents library. So let's give it a few seconds and we'll see how it goes. It has been a few minutes and as you can see now, there is a notification on our Microsoft Teams channel stating that a new file was uploaded to SharePoint with the file name. Guys, we have now confirmed that our Azure Logic app is working as expected and it has sent a notification as per the configuration to our Teams channel to let us know that a new document has been uploaded to our SharePoint's documents library. That's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please subscribe to our channel. We post weekly videos like this. Until next time, take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.